Yo, what's going on guys? Arctic here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over a total breakdown of the reboot that just hit Ranger this week. It's a pretty big update, so bear with me guys. I have timestamps below if you want to go ahead and skip ahead, but for the sake of brevity, we're going to go ahead and jump in and get started. And so as usual, uh, I got the breakdown coming up on the screen now. We're going to be starting off with the longbow updates, the awakenings, and then kind of finishing off with my final thoughts and, and kind of how I've compiled some of the abilities together. But that being said, the class is always changing, the community is always adapting to new things and learning, so if there's anything that I missed out, go ahead and check the comments below just to make sure that everything's squared away. And introductions aside, let's go ahead and get started. The first section of the patch notes is going to be letting you know that back attack damage has been applied to a lot of our abilities, but it's predominantly going to be a primary hand buff. Next one here is going to be the first ability change that we had. So this is going to be with the bow. Um, one of our evasive shots, one of the things that we would do after a flip, got changed pretty significantly. Where before we would kind of just flip and then have this stationary bow attack, we now have this thing that flings us back a pretty significant degree. I'm going to showcase for you guys right now what it looks like. But before I do, just know that the keybinds to my left, the F key, I've replaced with a mouse function 1. So just know that that's whenever I hit the F. Now, this is a really simple new ability, uh, but what's really great about it is that it can be comboed out of a few different abilities, and it's a super armor. My most preferred way of canceling out of it is going to be through Twisting Wind. It's going to be a new ability that they also added, which can be simply used by hitting either left, back, or right direction while holding shift at the same time. Now, in similar fashion, you can do the same thing with Evasive Explosive Shot, so choosing any directional key while hitting right click. And this is how it's going to look if you chain it all together. So you have Evasive Explosive Shot twice, Riding the Wind, Twisting Wind into Explosive Landing Shot, which again looks like this. Which we'll come back to in the end when it comes to combos. This next ability used to be called Breath of Air. It was a small filler that didn't really do too much damage, but now it's called Bypassing Wind, and it's actually a pretty good way of sneaking in a few charging winds on top of your Blasting Gust combos. At least that's the way I use it. And it's comboed by just holding left and right mouse button in left or right direction, which isn't really something we're going to be using a lot in Awakening, but again, kind of the common theme about this patch is it's going to be a pretty big buff to Succession. Next on the screen is going to be all the longbow changes, which we'll be coming back to towards the end of the video with combos. Just below that section was this, which is basically just kind of explaining how some of the combos have been easier to use, quality of life changes, and things of that sort for the bow. Which if you've hopped on recently, you've probably noticed that some of the combos aren't as convoluted as they used to be. It's, it's better for new rangers for sure. And next we have the three new awakening abilities that we've been given. Um, I have mixed views on them, but starting off, it's going to be Spirit Haven, which for me is just a bit of a filler. It's got super armor, a little bit of damage. That's about it. This next ability is called Guardian Wind. It's not the best in my opinion. I don't see myself using it too much because it's unprotected, but what it does have is a quick stiffness that you can get out of Awakening while still being at the same distance of a Blasting Gust. The only thing is that it has a slightly smaller AoE. This final ability they added is by far my favorite. It's called Winds of the Prairie. And honestly, it's pretty much the best filler I think they've added for the class so far. Um, it's a relatively short cooldown and it's really fast to do. My favorite thing to do with it so far is to mouse move your way right behind the target like this to land a grab. The last section here is about the awakening changes which I think is phenomenal. I love the things they've added. It's a ton of skill cooldowns, extra damage, mostly in PvE, but I think the big takeaway from this is that the faster we're able to rotate our abilities, in my opinion, just increases the skill ceiling of the class. Now finally, with the patch out of the way, I've only been able to play the game for maybe uh, 10 hours since the patch actually came out, but this is something I've been able to figure out so far, and it's a super long, super long distance super armor chain. Blech. Super, super, super. But really, you can bounce around the whole battlefield with this thing and just not even leave your bow form. And that's going to be a call from sky into an air explosive shot, into two EESs, into a riding the wind, into a twisting wind, into a explosive landing shot, and then wind explosive shot at the end. And a quick replay once again. Yeah. 
Now, going back to the actual changes of each individual skill, I think the main takeaways are going to be World Wind having back attacks and minus 15 range DP, and that Spirit Shackles are grabs are now 15 seconds long, along with all other classes in the game. And then finally, Nature's Tremble was given a minus 20 DP debuff, which is pretty substantial, because along with it having tier 3 add-ons, it basically allows it to have one of the strongest debuffs in the game. But the real holy grail of this entire patch is honestly this right here. As long as you can properly rotate your abilities and linger the right super armors, you can continue this chain of iframes and essays endlessly around the map. And by the way, if some of these things are new to you, like lingering which essays and things like that, check some of my older videos. Um, they're pretty outdated, but as far as the mechanics of the ranger, it still suffices. But I think this mechanic in particular right here if you can master this and just bob and weave some damage in between your target, you will be absolutely insane in a duel. And then finally, one of the best changes that I think we've been given so far is the changes to the Awakening. So Wind Step is a whole second shorter than it used to be, which is pretty substantial when you also take into account that the movement has been increased when moving forward. Not to mention just that, but Waltz of Wind, Breezy Blade, Rushing Wind, all the things that we use to have our protected movements have all been shortened as well. So we no longer have to decide whether to use our damage abilities as protection or as burst. And the last thing we're going to cover is the changes to Elfin's Rage. Um, it used to be a really great frontal guard that I used all the time, but unfortunately that's been removed and in its way has given us a 50 HP recovery per hit. Which sounds really phenomenal, but when you take into consideration that this ability doesn't have that many ticks, and it's been sped up, it's just not as good of a healing ability as you would think it would be. Now, my thoughts on the current state of Ranger and where the game's heading. To be frankly honest with you, I almost find it ironic. Um, I think the game is heading back to the super armor trading meta where grabs are no longer king, which is funny because that's the meta that we saw prior to 2018 when the CC changes were made. And while I think we're stronger, I don't think that we're strong enough to compete with the other SA traders. And because of that, if you're asking yourself what should you play right now, Succession or Awakening, I would heavily say go towards Succession still. It's it's where the true endgame is, the Node Wars, the Sieges, you're gonna outperform Awakening Ranger 9 times out of 10. But I will forever play Awakening, it's truly what engages me, it's, it's what I fell in love with when the game first came out. And I think if you can really master and put in the time to learn the new abilities, you will outperform Succession in a lot of different aspects of the game. I think they've absolutely boosted our primary hand. I think the longbow is going to be phenomenal in every single way, but the swords, once again, kind of got left behind. We got more sustained damage, but not actual burst damage increase at all. And while the super armor movement is nice, we're not the class that can sit there and take a bunch of super armor damage. So I think if you're trying to play Awakening Ranger in this meta right now, you're going to have to stack a ton of DP, and you're still going to have to play like an absolute squirrely rat just bouncing around everyone just to try to survive and do the trade damage. But to be realistic, we got to give this patch a little bit more time to brew within the community and kind of collab between other Rangers and see what we can really pull out of it. So check out the Discord links below. We got the Ranger Discord and my own personal Discord because a lot of us are going to be using it to figure out more. But all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please shoot me a like and a subscribe. It really does motivate me to make more content. And hopefully I'll see you in the future episodes.